Well, once again, uh, good morning. It's Friday morning, uh, 26 Market Street, Corp of Poodle in Haverford West. Um, and what's happened this week? A uh, few new uh, records in, which I'm going to cover today in terms of review. Um, and quite a lot of uh, sort of brought to the shop old stocks, some interesting items. And if I get a chance later on, I'll go through some of those as well, what's coming today. So what I wanted to do, uh, just do a quick wrap, sort of review of what's coming um, and just go through that. It's, I haven't bought a lot of new stuff, um, but it's all going to go on the racks and I'll explain the philosophy and what I'm trying to do. Um, yeah, but it's good. Uh, good news, uh, the George's next door is back open this week, um, which has been great. Um, other news, I've had a haircut. Uh, some people say probably not dramatic enough, but I have had a haircut. And that was thanks to uh, Adele in Green Wave just around the corner uh, next to the cinema here on Hill Street. So it's been a great, um, it's great stuff. So uh, it's all, you know, it's nice to be been a part of the community here in uh, in Market Street and the sort of top end of town in Halford West. So anyway, let's uh, just crack on uh, and see what's happening. Um, so um, uh, people who've been in the shop will know what are sort of new records I buy. Um, just to explain, these are all available online. They're all on Discogs. They're all on my website. Website preferred if you're buying online. Um, it's a better price, um, for example, anyway. So I buy a lot from Speaker's Corner. Now, Speaker's Corner, when I can get them, is a, it's an audiophile uh, sort of label um, and an imprint uh, come all all the records they produce are from the analog sources uh, this is the Doobie Brothers minute by minute um, and the good thing about them is is that, that the price point is pretty good they're well made it's a good production um, they come in around about 30 quid um, a little bit less if you come in the shop um, and as I say um, this is Speaker's Corner this is a Doobie, Doobie Brothers minute by minute when I can get them I get them um, and they're great and they're made sort of it's a German label um, They've got some rights issues, I think, coming up with things they did, a Lou Reed Transformer, Patty Smith Horses, which I've got one left in the shop, but I think they those have now been deleted, so they've got some challenges there, anyway. So, we'll see. Um, okay, so just want to run through that now if I can. So, DB Brothers Been Out A Minute, it's come in. Um, Chet, Chet Atkins uh, in Hollywood, uh, that's also another title that's coming on Speaker's Corner, I love all this. Um, Rai Kuda Self Title, that's a new release from them. Uh, that's the only one I've got. Uh, I had two, I've sold one already. Um, I have a feeling I'm not gonna get any more. I've got to think, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, great, Raikou, the self-titled. Um, Santana, uh, Cabra, uh, Caravan Serai, which is a great LP. Again, nicely produced, uh, lovely imprint as well. Uh, the Bill Withers, just as I am, I've got a couple of copies of that. Um, again, great, uh, great titles. Um, other stuff I've got is Toto 4, which I think they're going to lose. They're going to, that's going to get deleted as well. Um, other stuff would be Steve McQueen Bullet, uh, the Lalo, Lalo Schiffer in their soundtrack, which is also excellent. Uh, Carla, Carla Thomas, The Queen Alone, also good. There's some, some Aretha left, and there's quite a few other titles I've got on Speaker's Corner, but not much left. So always good. And when I can get them, I can get them. Um, sort of sister sort of label or related label to Speaker's Corner is analog. Uh, it's pure pleasure. So again, Analog sources. Um, they're a UK based, I think they're, they're somewhere up in Maidenhead or something. UK based label, again from the analog sources, same principle as Speaker's Corner. Only problem is they say, well, the problem, they have a they have less title range than, say, Speaker's Corner, but the quality is great. And this is the Groundhogs scratching the surface. Um, a lot of their stuff is more jazz orientated, but well worth looking at if you can do it. Let's say that's uh, on uh, Pure Pleasure, which is another label. So. I bought some other things this week, um, which are coming. Uh, Gary Walker and the Rain, uh, album number one, which is coming. This is on Audio Clarity. Good price point of these. I haven't priced this up. These are probably coming down to 20 quid. Um, I'm going to play one later today, see what that comes in like. So, again, there's a couple of other titles. Again, this is Audio Clarity. So, uh, yeah, looking at it, they're Russian. So, uh, it would be interesting. Uh, I did notice. Uh, I will check it out. I will play it, see where it comes in. I will check those out. Okay, so I'll, I'll have a look into it. I'll come back to you a bit on the on that. Uh, another UK imprint um, is Sealy Court. Okay, so again, I've so I bought a couple of these as samples. This is John Strang, uh, Valentin Lewis Lloyd, Martin Farkasen, um, called the Masterpiece. Now, they specialise in doing uh, titles which were either released on acetate or really um, very small runs. And so I don't know much about it. I've had a quick look. Sealy Court let them do it. It's originally recorded in 1968 and released by Sealy Court in 2020. So these are like uber rare imprints, whereas Arkama will do some of the sort of prog and sort of uh, folk stuff uh, from the sort of late 60s, 70s in terms of reissues, stuff that was on Derham and even some of the swirl stuff. 
um, CD cork go a bit further and they, we're talking really rare stuff. Um, so rare, uh, things like this NTP probably had a very limited release back in the day. And actually they don't even know the artists are. So they've got issues of working out where the royalties go and everything for that. So yeah, again, these are nice. I like the Sealy Court. The actual, uh, the finish is great. The sleeve is great. I played this in the shop yesterday. Um, I must admit the, probably going back to the source they've used wasn't brilliant back at the time. So, okay, it's an interesting album. The, the music's okay, sort of folky prog with the NTP one. Um, but it could be slightly better quality in terms of um, the recording quality. It, so it doesn't stand up to some of the professionally done like the speaker's corner. Um, the other things I've bought, um, again, recently is Chet Baker. Um, this is on Sam Records. I might have mentioned these before in another review. This is like a one-man label in France. He reissues some stuff, uh, maybe that was issued in France back in the day. The Chet Bakers, of which I've got another couple in. I've got a few more still on the racks. These are great. The, the quality of reproduction is superb. They're flip, flip back sleeves, a, a nice poster, just really good quality in terms of the way they've been presented. And the audio quality is stunning. Really, really good. And I've played a couple in the shop when people have been in the shop and both people have bought stuff on the Chet Baker, stuff on Sam. Hard to get hold of. Some of the early stuff he produced, 2011, 2010, 2012, already going for good money. So it's got a collectability to it as well. Um, I've got a few things on, on Sam. Uh, hopefully, you know, anything else comes in, I may need to get anything like Sam that comes out. So really, really nice. So they come in about something like just under 40 quid online, a little bit less in the shop. Um, as I say, you can do that, they're great. And as I say, well worth the money uh, in terms of what's there. Um, I've bought some other things, again, from the same um, distributor, which are sort of more obscure stuff. I'm gonna try these out over the next few days. Uh, this is on a Spanish label, which is related to Gerson. I'll come on to Gerson in a minute, um, as I say. And these are, this is this Renato Lou. I had a quick listen online, I haven't opened it. I've obviously only deseal it, but this is Renato Lou, um, a Portuguese sort of disco, sort of uh, funk and disco sound from the 70s. Absolutely superb, really nice. And there's a few other things there as well um, on that sort of thing. Now, this is actually Gerson, and Gerson is a, uh, I think they're based in Lieda, which is in Catalonia, is a label. And they're reproducing uh, stuff that's come out on, um, which was originally released as sort of fairly rare, obscure, sort of garage, psych, sort of psych, sort of folk, prog stuff from the late 60s, early 70s. Um, uh, and I, of course, they are going to reproduce the Standing Stone, which is by Oliver, which is the uh, sort of the famous uh, collectible uh, Pembrokeshire title. So I'll do more of that on a previous, on a, on a later sort of video, hopefully. But this is interesting, so I'm gonna, I've got to play some of these, but um, things like this, like uh, Goliath, that, Goliath, that's on Outsider Records. Uh, Jason Crest, I've had this before on Gerson, that is really good, okay? Again, very psych, very prog psych stuff, um, very much for sort of uh, the hippies of St. David's and bits and pieces, absolutely superb. Um, again, and this one, I think that's also, oh, that's on uh, Outsider as well, which again, I think is a Gerson or related imprint as well. But again, all that prog type stuff. Again, great quality, great LPs. Price point, probably around about the 25 quid mark for those. Um, the other thing I tracked out, tracked down, and somebody was in the shop a couple of weeks ago and mentioned Be With Records in Manchester, uh, and they were doing some reissues, and they did a reissue of this before. This is the infamous Feelings LP, okay, which is uh, by Jay Richford and uh, sorry, G uh, Gary Stephen, but of course it's not really them. It was an Italian producer in 1974. The original one of this now goes for well over 2,000 quid if you can find one. But Be With Records, um, who are based up in Manchester, have actually, and Carosello is the other people on the label, um, they've now reissued it at 75 and now reissued in 2001. They've, they've done one run, this is another reissue. Um, I have to buy that retail. I'd love to be able to find a way of reselling the Be With stuff. Um, it's really good because the other one they've got is um, another issue I bought off them, sort of retail was Ian Carr's Nucleus, um, which is great, Roots, um, which I'm gonna have a listen to that later on. Um, other things, I've just done an order now for some more stuff from another um, the distributor, um, and this is stuff on the Jazzman label. Now this is the Greg Folk Group, um, which is called Dark Is The Sun. That was a limited issue oh, from a couple of years ago. Oh no, I think it was reissued originally 2010, now came out again last year, thousand only. I've just ordered a couple more because I played this yesterday and I'm gonna keep this copy. Um, but Dark Is The Sun, Greg Folk Group, really, really very good. So worth listening out. So again, I've ordered some stuff on Jazzman, uh, Freestyle Records, and um, oh, Jalapeno Records and stuff, all off this one distributor. So that, that stock will be in next week and I'll run through that, hopefully, uh, next week in terms of a run through. 
Other things I've got um, um, was a Dead Kennedy's Brazilian repress of uh, fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. Um, I'll give that a spin later. When I played it yesterday, audio quality is as good as it was on Cherry Red when it came out in 1980. I think it was 1980, he says, looking at the back. Uh, he said that was a good guess, wasn't it? But uh, pretty sure it is. Yeah, 1980 Cherry Red, that was issued on. The originals of those, I had one in the shop earlier in the year. I sold it to, to a, a girl up in Newcastle, and that went for like, that goes for like 40 to 60 quid. Um, this will probably come in around about, well, it'd be under 20 quid, so that's good. And the other things which I will try, and I did have a play of these earlier on, these I think are also on audio clarity, are things, things by Mike Westbrook. Um, I've got the Mike Westbrook uh, Metropolis album, which is one of the sort of RCA neons. Brilliant, brilliant LP if you ever find one. So this is Marching, uh, this is Marching Song Volume 1 and Volume 2, and also released by Mike Westbrook. Again, on audio clarity. I'll give that a spin later. Let's have a look at the quality and see what they're like. Anyway, but um, there we go. That's sort of some of the new things that have come in the shop this week. And I'll try and do another review of some of the used stuff as well uh, later on today. Again, thank you very much for watching.